Hello, I am the editor, reporter, and writer of Living Global, Brandon Immel. And today we are going to talk about an issue we have been focused on for years now, and that is Cinemax. We have been reporting and investigating Cinemax for years now, and now we have seen that the federal government is the core reason why Cinemax won't be shut down, or at least won't be investigated for the claims even Cinemax themselves have stated. In an article we put out on March 9th, 2013 at 5.35 p.m. Eastern Time, which read, Health Department doesn't have jurisdiction over Cinemax. Quote, the health department, who should have jurisdiction over Cinemax, told me that they have no jurisdiction over Cinemax. When I reported Cinemax to them for using human embryonic kidney cells, HEK293, and using it on food, I explained everything and how I have been covering the issue for years now, and they only could tell me to contact the federal government and they would look into it. So this issue hit a dead hand. And it is very unlikely the federal government would order someone to look into this issue when the creator of Cinemax, Lubert Stryer, was awarded in 2007 the National Medal of Science. Lubert Stryer also has had Cinemax even removed from his personal information when looking into him. Right now, Stryer is the chairman of the Scientific Advisory Board for Cinemax but doesn't even have that cited as a job on any of his personal bio. The main leaders of Cinemax now are also connected and are hired by the company Pfizer Inc. Pfizer Inc. is the world's largest pharmaceutical company by revenues. Pfizer Inc. got sued in 2010 by former Pfizer scientist Becky McLean, who became paralyzed from a GMO virus that is closely related to AIDS. Pfizer is a very lobbied pharmaceutical company, and, is, and it being closely connected to Cinemax may be why Cinemax is untouchable by any health department. So since Cinemax is completely untouchable, some may wonder if there will ever be a day true facts come out about the atrocities. Even though Cinemax says themselves that HEK-293 is in the food, there is no way of shutting them down, because the government is lobbied for them." End quote. After finding all this out, we thought that the only way to literally bring attention to this atrocity was to, you know, to the atrocity that the federal government's hand was in this issue. The only way to bring attention to it is to increase our reporting on it indefinitely until something is done. So this is going to be an issue that is going to be even more increasingly reported on by Lemon Global starting the day. Because it is very important for us to get Cinemax shut down. Because of all the illegal activity going there, and the federal government's hand being right in their pocket, taking all, taking all the lobbied money, and also with Pfizer, we can only conclude that the federal government is helping them stay health department free. Now, I'm Brandon Immel of Lemon Global.